VA Doc Dylan, take one. Hi. Hello. So tell me, um, just start off with me as a question. Who are you? Um, well, I don't really um, know a good answer for that right now, but... Um, my name is Alexandra. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, specifically Goshen, Oldham County. My art form at GSA is visual art. Um, I started creating visual art from like the moment I could create it at all. I've always been an artsy kind of kid, I've always loved music, I've always loved the art, style, expression. I'm in my local circus. Um, I'm a beginner in guitar. I used to play piano. I was raised Orthodox Christian. Um, my dad is very heavy on religion and we've not always had like a really good relationship. My dad is an immigrant. He was born and raised in the country of Georgia, um, which is a very kind of conservative country. The last couple years, we've just had a really rough patch with like my relationships and my love life. He's really um, kind of inserted himself into that a lot. A couple years ago, I got into like my first real relationship and it just so happened to be with a woman, with a girl. And um, for a long time, we were together and nobody in my family knew. But then a couple things, you know, slipped up and I was outed to both my parents. And my dad really took it like badly. Like he took it so badly. He was a mess emotionally. And um, ever since then, we've really never been the same. And during that whole long period of time, I just completely like stopped really making art. I lost my inspiration. I lost my, my sense of, of, of drive for it. When I finally did start making art again, it really was a way to like really look into myself and like realize things like I can be happy with my dad being negative. It's like I learned that I can really move on from all of it and go back to finding myself like I should be in my teenage years, you know, when a person is growing and finding out who they are. One piece that I made when I was on the way out of this dark place but still really in it was called Abducted and it was a collage I made in school and it was a really, um, really deep thinker for me. It really had me like feeling all my dark emotions and really trying to just put them away. I decided to apply for GSA because taking every opportunity I can has really helped me um, find myself again. I thought GSA would be a wonderful opportunity to express myself in ways I can't usually at home. I can do that here with other people who are similar to me. A lot of our projects here at GSA have been very self-focused. For example, in our drawing and painting, our final project is to paint something that is unavoidable in life in a way that you like to see it. I'm doing a self-portrait of me and my unavoidable thing is aging and growing as a person so I'm doing um, a version of me that's like me now with a version of me that's like older and from like the future but it's really helped me realize the different possibilities for the future and how nothing is defined now and it's really broadening to say the least. I think that my future is getting a lot brighter Art is really helping me heal as a person, uh, emotionally, spiritually, religiously, all types of ways. It's really helped me to be loud and expressive when usually I'm a very quiet and composed person. Advice I would give to people who are struggling to be themselves or find themselves or people who are just in dark situations like mine is just take opportunities to try something you usually wouldn't and find out what they mean to you as a person and what you really feel inside instead of letting other people influence you, which is hard to say, but really the more you do it, the better you get at it. And it really does help you become a person you can call yourself instead of something that's influenced by other people and other things. 
that's my advice to you. I think, I think, I think we got enough. Really? Yeah, I think so. We did amazing. Oh my god, we did it. We really did this. <sighs> Was it good? Was it good? Do you think so? No, it's better than what I heard on that. Seriously? Yeah. We really like that. Yeah. We're literally gonna make the best documentary. You're such a good documentary <laughs> person. You're literally Oprah. Literally. You're literally Oprah. Right? Oprah. Oprah. All right. Cut cameras.